does mind-body exercise really help ADHD? What does the literature have to say? What does science have to say on this topic? Hello everybody, my name is Shlomi. I am an ACE certified personal trainer and ACE certified nutritionist. And today we're going to be discussing a very popular topic, something that has also a lot of personal relevance to me as well. And that is the importance of not just intense, hard core sports or resistance training or running on ADHD, depression, and anxiety, but also the benefits and importance of interventions that are much less intense. So things like yoga, tai chi, or other mind-body exercises. And we know, and I've discussed in many, many previous videos, just how much supporting literature there is that intense exercise is one of the best things you can ever do, ever do for ADHD. And also important, not just intense, consistent, consistent, on a consistent basis. It's not okay working out once every two weeks. <clears throat> no, I'm talking about three, four, maybe even five times a week if your body can handle as much as your body can handle without breaking without getting injured, without overtraining. That's how much you want to be training in terms of intensity. But let's talk about things that are less intense. So I know for myself, I was diagnosed very young with extremely, extremely strong ADHD, to put, to put it in one way. And I was diagnosed with a lot, with a lot of other things. And none of my medications ever worked, ever worked. It always made me more anxious. It always made me hyperactive when I was coming off the medications when I was in middle school. It, just, it put me in a bad mood all the time. I was in a bad mood all the time and I hated it. Yeah, I was quiet in school, but that's because I was drugged up like a horse. I wasn't learning anything. I was just drugged up like a horse. I was zoned out and I hated it. That's my personal experience. When I got to high school, I learned about the importance of eating healthy and exercising. And then after high school, and that, that, that changed everything for me. You know, I didn't need any more medications. Obviously, it was a process I had, I had to learn. It didn't all just happen overnight. But over time, I didn't need any more medications. And I got to the point where, you know, hey, I'm in school right now, and I'm able to spend 9, 10, 11, tw even some days, 12 hours in front of a book studying without any medication, focused. And it's, it's, it's amazing to see that. But obviously, it's not just one thing. It's a lifestyle. It's a process that happens. But after high school, what happened to me was I started to get really into mind-body exercise, like yoga, tai chi, and things of that nature. And I started to see the benefits of it, how much it would help me out, how much it would calm me down. Like sometimes I'm, I'm just stressed, you know, life gets us stressed sometimes. And I'd be in a really bad mood, and I'd sit there and I'd do, the, you know, some mind body exercise for five minutes with some deep breathing with some slow movements focusing on the position of my body coordinating my movements with my breath and after five minutes i would just see such a complete transformation of my mood and this would happen consistently like it's my go-to method right now for anger management for stress management because it's so consistently effective for me so today i wanted to do some research and see is it just me that's experiencing the benefits of mind-body exercise or do other people also experience this as well? Are there any studies or even better meta-analyses that explore these topics? And I found, yes, that there were, there are, there are a couple. One of those meta-analyses I'm going to discuss was done by Zhao and colleagues. The link to that one will be posted below in the description if you would like to check it out yourself. And it's a very fascinating, very fascinating analysis. There isn't that much research on this topic. There's like thousands of studies specifically looking for mind-body exercise and improving ADHD symptoms and social behaviors. But they looked for the highest quality studies. And they found seven extremely, extremely high, high, high quality studies all these were in adolescence, very, very high quality studies. What they found was interesting that 
there were significant, significant improvements in every single one of these studies of children, of adolescents, that regularly practiced mind-body exercise and their improvements in focus, attention, concentration, social behavior, social problems, any symptoms that ADHD may offer, any anxiety, all that, there were significant improvements. That's just amazing. Like, it's just amazing to, to, to see this. And with that, I'm gonna leave you all off with one final message. Stay moving out there. Make sure you put a smile on people's faces. For those, for those of you who are interested, I am a personal trainer. I do do online personal training. If you're interested, then see the description below. Reach out to me, and I hope you all have an awesome day.